You just need a power blast! Well, the highly anticipated OKKO special titled Crossover Nexus has finally premiered on Cartoon Network and it was insane. Right from the very beginning, you knew this wouldn't be like the typical episode because there was basically no theme song. I thought there was something wrong with my computer when I was watching, but nope. Most of the song was just intentionally skipped for the episode. This was definitely done so Crossover Nexus could last just a tiny bit longer, which makes sense given the high stakes of what's about to go down. The basic premise of the special is that four heroes from different Cartoon Network shows all unite against an enemy known as Strike, who has X'd out various other cartoon heroes. If you've been paying attention and you grew up with the CN City era, then you'd realize that the city they find themselves in right now is actually the same exact one from long ago, but in ruin. In the first few minutes of the special, events are moving by at a surprisingly fast pace. It went pretty much how people would expect. KO met up with Garnet and Ben 10 as they showed off their abilities in a small beginning fight. However, the real the real fun of this special starts when KO, Garnet, and Ben 10 all come face to face with the previous Cartoon Arc heroes who were striked by Strike. At this point, the real scale of the crossover is revealed and this is the biggest one in modern years, like it's surreal to see all these characters in the same exact place. Because this specific scene was relatively short, there's a lot of blinking you miss at easter eggs and details you missed. Let's check him out. First of all, when Ben 10 crashes through the building, he yells NEW 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 NEW, which is a reference to the Mark marketing slogan commonly used by Modern Cartoon Network. On your Cartoon Network. New, 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 new. On your Cartoon Network. New, 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 new. On your Cartoon Network. New, 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 new. 30 on your Cartoon Network. New, 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 new. This screen cap is full of secrets. The poster all the way to the left depicts the three original Powerpuff Girls. Har Har Thursdays is written below the poster, which is an old Cartoon Arc block running from 2008 to 2010, and it had shows like Flapjack and Chowder. So many classic CN cartoon characters have been striked. Yumi from Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi, Robot Jones from Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, Chowder from Chowder, High Five Ghost from Regular Show, Weasel from I Am Weasel, Schnitzel from Chowder, Ilano from Symbionic Titan, Moxie from The Moxie Show, which is one of the earliest Cartoon Arc animated shows of all time. And now, it's time for The Moxie Show! Hi, um, I'm Moxie, and, uh, uh, that's Fleet, and, um, Festro from Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, oh my god, this is great! But if you thought everything here was all we were getting in terms of easter eggs, you'd be wrong. It's actually crazy how much they managed to fit in in such a short amount of time, but the references just keep on coming, and they're all super hyped to see. Here we have Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, 1-1 is from Infinity Train, which is cool because the show hasn't even come out yet, but he's still being referenced. Juniper Lee is from the life and times of Juniper Lee, while Frankie from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends is just just chilling over here. Jake from My Gym Partner's A Monkey, Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Alf from Problem Solvers, which is a terrible show, Grim from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Octus from Symbionic Titan. Also, there's this really obscure fire character, but he's actually named Duncan Rosenblatt from the Cartoon Arc TV movie that probably nobody even knows exists, Fire Breather. Check out the new kid. For Duncan, fitting in was never easy. Mom is overprotective. I love you too, Mom. And Dad? Well, he's a 60,000 pound dragon. Right! So there's that. Oh yeah, there's also Chicken from Count Chicken. Knuckles from Flapjack, Tigglewinks, Talking Dog from Powerpuff Girls, Courage from Courage the Cowardly Dog, Periwinkle from a really obscure Nickelodeon pilot created a while back by Aaron Springer, Dang, they're really digging deep with these cameos. Eva from Mega's XLR, Rex Salazar from Generator Rex. I kid you not, the cameos keep on going as 
as the gang continues through this building. Carl from Johnny Bravo, the main character from the Brazilian Cartoon Arc show Joro's Brother, Larry from Time Squad, Major Dr. Gasly from Evil Con Carne, Number 5 from Kids Next Door, Blastus from Robotomy, look above to see graffiti spelling out Cartoon Cartoon, and if you're an old school fan of Cartoon Network, you already know how hype this is. Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, Friday nights on Cartoon Network. My nostalgia levels are flying off the charts over here. Victor and Valentino, Squirrel Boy, Summer Camp Islands, Camp Lazlo, Adventure Time, Wee Bear Bears, Mighty Magic Swords. I really thought these references couldn't get any more obscure, but uh, there was an afternoon programming block that ran on Cartoon Arc all the way back in 2004 titled Meguzi. That block featured a CGI animated character named Aaron, a girl trapped underwater with various creatures. And uh, here's Aaron in 2018. The Shorties Graffiti is an easter egg for the Cartoon Arc Shorties program that aired from 1999 to 2005. Sheep in the Big City, Jeff from Clarence, Yo, Double D shows up a second time as a joke to his name. I see you, OKKO OK fam. I get what you're going for. Pretty clever if you ask me. Adventure Time poster, Samurai Jack poster, Steven Universe poster, Johnny Bravo poster, so many posters. Craig of the Creek, Lou from Mike, Lou and Og, King Rufus from Long Live the Royals, Golly Gopher from Out of Jimmy's Head, Greg from Over the Garden Wall, Monkey from Dexter's Lab, Black Hat from Villainous. Finally, we're done with the breakdown for that section, but there are plenty of other references in the final few minutes. Ben 10 turns into Jake from Adventure Time and then talks to him, which is technically Jake's final lines on TV since his original show is over, so that's cool. Also, there's yet another Mighty Magic Swords reference, but eh. Yeah, whatever. When Ben 10 rides a fist, he transforms into plenty of classic characters as the background colors go from modern to the older checkerboard style for the network. We have references to Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, Uncle Grandpa, Gumball, Regular Show, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Over the Garden Wall, Wee Bear Bears, Clarence, Billy and Mandy, Chowder, Flapjack, Dial M for Monkey, Cow and Chicken, Johnny Bravo, Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, again, Adventure Time, again. Also, Finn was the last Ben 10 transformation and he knocked off Strike's arm. That may have been a reference to the fact that he lost his own arm in Adventure Time. And so, the Cartoon Arc City is officially returned to its previous state. Just when you think the secrets and easter eggs are over, we get this shot of the newly restored CN City. Nudes are flying around everywhere, and if you don't already know, these guys come from the Nudes era during 2008 to 2010. The kids next door treehouse is to the left, along with Mung Dolls Catering from Chowder, Townsville Hall from the Powerpuff Girls, the house from Regular Show, the treehouse from Adventure Time, the Teen Times Headquarters, Billy and Mandy House, this is great! As you can see, Crossover Nexus is absolutely packed with so many references and secrets you missed on your first viewing. I have to give props to the entire team that came together to make this special happen, because it truly is the best Cartoon Hour crossover in a long time. Gwen's gonna flip when she hears about this. See you guys. Finally, this crossover's over. <gasps> Wait a minute. Zintos! Phew, close call. There's no way I found every single reference though, so if you see something that I didn't actually mention here, then be sure to leave it down in the comments section. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.